Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I am Arfan Moshiri, PhD student, um, molecular medicine, Pasteur Institute of Iran. Uh, Dr. Siada talked about outer membrane vesicle, um, and I'm going to talk about the adjunct properties of outer membrane vesicle in hepatitis B surface based vaccines. Uh, unfortunately, I have to repeat some, uh, in, but in very briefly, um, you have heard from uh, Professor uh, Siadat. Uh, first, I want to talk about the importance of outer membrane vesicles. Uh, there are, as you know, there are many, many gram-negative bacteria, such as Neisseria, Magetis, Vibricolore, Bordetella, Pertosis, and many others produce OMV. Uh, it consists of a phospholipid bilayer, outer membrane, proteins, proplasmic constituents, and lipopolysaccharides, and it has mo multi, uh, multiple activities. Uh, uh, it was um, previous, it was the outer membrane vesicle in general, and this is outer membrane vesicle of Neisseria, SPP, the applications. Uh, it works, works as carriers of polysaccharide in conjugated vaccines, adjoint activity in combined vaccines. That it is uh, very, um, it ha and there are many studies on the adjoint activities. And it uses as drug delivery system, as uh, Dr. Siadat mentioned, uh, and employed as vaccine subunit against Neisseria meningitis serum group B. And uh, some points about the adjoint properties of meningococcal OMV, it activates dendritic cell, cells and macrophages. It is a relatively safe adjoint with high potency to induce a typical uh, secondary uh, response. It has T helper cell mitogenic activity and it has a major protein component of OMV, which is pore A, acting as an adjoint or mitogen. Uh, it induces uh, the expression of co-stimulatory molecules like CD80, CD86, and 40. Uh, in this study, we have used Neisseria meningitis through group B strain CSPPI G245. Uh, which was grown under, cult under controlled submerged cultural condition in a fermenter containing modified France medium. After this culture, we have extracted uh, vesicles uh, in three HCL buffer containing EDTA and desoxycholate. You see uh, electron micrograph, uh, which uh, here uh, you see vesicles that are very intact, intact, about 80% intact. After, uh, mm, after this extraction, we have pur purified of OMV, which was done by sequential centrifugation at uh, uh, 20,000 G, uh, followed by ultra centrifugation at 125,000 G. Uh, uh, we used the uh, HPS antigen, which is uh, purified and prepared uh, from the production and research complex of Pasteur and Institute of Iran. Uh, for this study, uh, we used four animal groups uh, were immunized uh, by intranasal oculation with HPS, HPS plus OMV mixture, OMV alone, and PBS as negative control. Uh, two booster immunization, uh, uh, two and four weeks after the first immunization we had. In the, uh, we used ELISA uh, for, uh, to assay uh, uh, total and subtype antibody responses against HPS antigen. And uh, uh, this chart shows um, uh, we have compared HBS antigen and HBS antigen plus OMV 
uh, two weeks and f uh, four weeks after the first uh, booster, uh, you see uh, uh, how uh, OMV a significant increase uh, in the after four weeks, but in after two weeks, uh, not a very significant increase. Uh, actually, no uh, no difference. And uh, it was for total IgG. That's what uh, for total IgG. Uh, for anti-HPS antigen. In this chart, you see uh, we have compared uh, HPS antigen and HPS antigen uh, plus OMV mixture. Uh, for IgG subtypes, uh, there are significant increases in IgG 2A and 2B about four folds uh, in, 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 in the subtypes, but not, uh, no increase or no difference in IgG3. Uh, in previous studies, uh, uh, Nicere Lactamica OMV was used. Uh, but in our study, we have used uh, Nicere Meningitis. Uh, there are some differences. Uh, uh, Nicere lactamica um, increases uh, subtype IgG2A, um, but in this uh, uh, Nicere meningitis uh, shows uh, showed that uh, the two subtypes was increased. So we have um, actually we have a, a T helper one and T helper two uh, induced. And boosting time was different. We have uh, two and four, four weeks. Uh, in the last studies, they had three and six weeks. And the dose of inoculation was less. Uh, I don't remember exactly what was the dose, but in our study it was 50 microgram. I think, I don't know exactly, maybe 100 microgram. And Nicerium meningitis, OMV, intranasally co-administrated with HPS antigen increased IgG2A and IgG2B responses. And I said OMV in induced about four folds in total IgG. In conclusion, a number of scientific reports have demonstrated the adjunct properties of Nicerium meningitis serogroup B outer membrane vesicles. Our findings confirm the subject found by others in this study, we explored the potential properties of OMV as an adjunct with microbial origin. Thus, the availability of such outer membrane vesicle component with adjunct properties will be great importance for the development of improved and combined vaccines for the wide variety of diseases. Thank you. So a number of years ago, Glaxo licensed the Cuban OMV uh, vaccine uh, and did some studies, in fact, in Spain in children and dropped the license because they said the OMV was too reactogenic. So that was as a vaccine for meningococcus. I mean, do you think then it would be an acceptable adjuvant if even the vaccine uh, was considered too reactogenic by, you know, one of the major vaccine manufacturers? Uh, at the moment, at the moment, uh, you mean? Uh, so it was assessed by the, one of the world's biggest vaccine companies, and 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 they did a, some studies in in humans and decided it was too reactogenic and discontinued the program. So it uh, probably no. doesn't bode well for its its future use as a. And uh, uh, OMV, um, uh, uh, in the opposite side, uh, with, uh, gra in uh, gram-negative bacteria that uh, produce more LPS, uh, produce less S LPS and more LOS, so it is uh, uh, less toxigenic. I don't know I, if I, uh, I could... But the, the, theirs was the, the Neisseria meningitis OMV. No. Was, the was what caused the problem, so they, they stopped doing it. 
the Nicerian meningitis OMV. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, we'll discuss it later. <laughs>